Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm gonna show you three ways to create simple websites quickly and easily. Let's go ahead and take a look at these three options. And the first one is called card.co. And let's take a look at what we can do with it. I'm gonna create a new site here. And I'm going to pick one of these simple portfolio options that they have and say that I want to use this one right here. The one that says hi on it. We can take a look at the demo if we want and see the kind of site that we'll have. Perfect. I like that option. So let's go ahead and use that one. And let's swap this out and replace the hi with something like, hello world. And replace this text and say something along the lines of, welcome to my simple photography portfolio. And now let's go in here and swap out these images. So I wanna have some actual images in here and we're gonna show these as full size images when I'm ready. So let's click on that. And this one here, I'm gonna upload my picture and I wanna use this picture here. And I'm gonna use this section of it that I'm about to crop. So you can see here, I'm gonna crop just this little section and use that option. And let's rename this with a little caption and call it a snowy winter day. And I can link to something if I want to, but I'm gonna leave it as that. Let's do the same thing now for this next option here. And we're going to swap in this new image. And let's pick in, pick this image here. And I wanna make sure I include the whole thing. So let's do that. And accept that change. And there it is. Let's go here and call it 1942. Cadillac convertible. And let's spell Cadillac correctly. And click done. And now I have those two images here in my website. And I just keep repeating that process until I'm happy with all my images and all my text. Let's save that website and call it Hello world, the sample pictures of Richard Byrne. And I'm gonna get my own card.co URL. I'm happy with this. Make sure my URL is available, it is. And I have an unfinished element Let's go to that element. Oh, it's those ones there. So let's just take those out before we publish them. I don't want to use those ones. Done. And now I have my simple website available to publish. And it's gonna give me that URL at card.co. So that's one option for making a very simple portfolio style website. Now, another option you might choose is Adobe Express. Adobe's Creative Cloud Express, which you can sign up for for free. And let's go here. And in this case here, we want to pick the web page option. Let's create a little web page. Let's call it my picture portfolio. Helps to spell things correctly. Portfolio. And let's add something in here. Well, let's add in a photo. 
And in this case here, I'm going to upload a picture. Let's upload this one here. And let's leave it in line. You could also do a fill screen, but I'm going to do in line. You do full width, you do window. I'm going to do again in line. Let's add a caption. Let's call it the view to the north from the top of Mount Abram in Greenwood, Maine. And let's add something else to our website. Now, we could add a video. We could add just a block of text. I'm going to add just a block of text here. And in my block of text, I'm going to write, I like to take pictures while I am skiing in the winter. Now, that text, we can customize it a little bit. Let's make it bolder. We can italicize it if we want to. We can even go in and align that text to the center to make it in line with everything else. Now I can keep adding more and more content to this as I like. I might include a slideshow, might change the layout, might even put in a little button to say click here to learn more about me. But for now, I like this sample website as is. So let's preview it. And there's my little website. There's my preview. If I want to change it out, maybe apply a different theme to it. Use the Trek theme. I can do that. Or the Crisp theme. There it is. I like that Trek theme. Let's go back to that one. My Trek theme. And when I'm ready, again, I can... Go up here and make this public and share it with the whole world. Let's publish and share that link to my little website. So that's the second option for making a simple website to share a collection of your best photographs or other work. And now our third option is to look at Canva. And I love Canva. Anyone who's watched my YouTube channel knows I have lots of tutorials about Canva. So here's one more. I'm going to use Canva's website templates here. And let's say I want to do a simple website where, again, I'm going to highlight some of my photography. And so I like this one. Let's pick this. I'm going to customize this one and use some of my own photographs in it. I'm going to swap out this background photograph and replace it with a photograph that I already have uploaded here. And let's say I want to use this one. And I'm going to drag and drop and make that a little bit bigger and use that as my background for the first part of the website. And we'll say it's Richard Byrne. And yeah, we'll leave landscape photography there as the subheading. Now the email me button, well, let's change that out because I don't want people emailing me. So let's just delete it for now. And we'll put it in a little bit later on the website. Now I can keep filling in all these pieces or I can delete them as I see fit. And when I'm happy with it, let's go ahead and hit that share button. And we can publish that as a simple standalone website that has its own link right there. So those are three ways to create your own simple portfolio style websites. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.